what's up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to resolve this gradle build failed error in unity so uh, there's nothing wrong with your computer or your os if you're using uh, windows 11 you'll think that be that's happening because of a bug no uh, false negative uh, it's because uh, the open JDK you have downloaded and the system environment variables so uh, let's hop into the video So, okay, first of all, you have to boot up Unity. I have a simple scene right here. So, the first thing that you have to do is go into Edit Preferences. And what you have to do is just uh, uncheck uh, this, uh, spa uh, this space right here. And what you have to do next is just copy the path uh, of the JDK. And uh, let's just do that. Um, next, you have to go to edit the system environment variables. Let's click on that and it will open up this little window. So what you have to do is go into advanced and environment variables. So mm -hmm. after that, uh, you will see something like this. This window will pop up. So first of all, you have to make um, there won't be a variable called java home uh, this is here because I made it so if you if it, it's not there you have to uh, go to new and type java underscore home and paste the path you have uh, previously copied I have it right there so I'll just close this so what you have to do in system variables is just the same you had to make a new variable and copy the path and click on ok okay so it uh, still won't work okay um, so what you have to do is go to preferences again check off this uh, checkbox right here and you have to download the gradle 6.9 version from the description and just download it and uh, copy the path right here so uh, yeah uh, that's it that, that's uh, the thing that you have to do to um, uh, solve the issue so let's go to file build settings I opened it my secondary monitor let me drag it in okay um, you had to download Android uh, modules so if you don't have the Android modules uh, you has you simply go to the unity hub and installs add modules and in there Android build support, Android SDK and NDK tools, and Open JDK. All of these three is required. Okay, uh, let's close this up. And after that, um, you just have to click on build. And I have to different do different things here. So let's the game. The game, yeah, that would be okay. And if you click on build and save. Um, yeah, it will work. So, as you can see, uh, it's now building the Gradle project. Yeah, it's done. Now it's working. So, build completed with a result of success. Okay, so it's working. And you have the APK right here. If you have an emulator, you can just play it. So if you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.